dear students happy to meet you in this online mode of education i am dr s angelina florida parimala associate professor and head from the pg and research department of zoology edm college for women nagapatinam the topic i am going to discuss with you today is about the types of nutrition and its importance which is coming under the paper physiology let us see first about the nutrition Nutrition is the process of consuming, absorbing and using nutrients needed by the body of growth, development and maintenance of life. To receive adequate appropriate nutrition, people need to consume a healthy diet which consists of a variety of nutrients, the substances in uh, foods that nourish the body. Nutrients are the substances which provide energy and biomolecules necessary for carrying out the various body functions all living organisms need nutrients for proper functioning and growth some animals are feed on simple inorganic compounds to meet their nutrient requirements while others utilize complex compounds the mode of nutrition varies from one species to another let us see about the types of nutrition here it was uh, classified into two types um, autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition let us see one by one first autotrophic nutrition uh, in this mode organisms use simple inorganic matters like water and carbon dioxide in the presence of light and chlorophyll to synthesize food on their own in other words we can say the process of photosynthesis is used to convert light energy into uh, food such as glucose such organisms are called autotrophs for example plants algae and bacteria especially cyanobacteria are some best examples for the autotrophic nutrition uh, during photosynthesis uh, carbon dioxide and water get converted into carbohydrates these carbohydrates are stored in the form of starch in plants plants later derive this energy required from the uh, stored starch the process of photosynthesis can be explained in three stages that is absorption conversion and reduction let us see first absorption here the chlorophyll present in the leaves traps the light coming from the sun then in the uh, step uh, conversion the absorbed light energy gets converted into chemical energy and water absorbed will split into hydrogen and oxygen molecules the last one is about reduction at last here carbon dioxide gets reduced that is hydrogen molecules combine with carbon to form carbohydrates other than photosynthesis plants also depend on soil for micro and macro elements these elements are used to synthesize proteins and other essential compounds required for the proper functioning of growth of the plants let us see something about um, heterotrophic nutrition every organism is not uh, capable of preparing food on its own such organisms depend on others for their nutrition the organisms which cannot produce food on their own and depend on other sources or organisms are called heterotrophs this mode of nutrition is called as heterotrophic nutrition fungi and all the animals including humans are heterotrophs it can be of many varieties depending upon their environment and adaptations some may eat plants they are called herbivores and others eat animals they are called carnivores while a few eat both they are called omnivores thus we can say survival of heterotrophs depends directly or indirectly on plants heterotrophs are classified into uh, different categories based on their mode of nutrition for example parasites um, example we can say leeches and ticks then saprophytes example we can include mushrooms then animals with a holozoic mode of life we can life we can include um, humans and dogs animals the types of nutrients so the nutrients are generally they are categorized into two types macronutrients and micronutrients macronutrients which are required by the body in large amounts and the micronutrients which are required by the body in small amounts above nutrients could be obtained from the environment macronutrients provide energy to a living being for the function of the metabolic system they provide massive energy has to be converted into energy 
macronutrients include uh, fats, proteins and carbohydrates. Micronutrients provides essential components for metabolism to be carried out. They also build and repair damaged tissues in order to control the body process. Micronutrients include calcium, iron, vitamins, minerals and vitamins, um, fat soluble and also water soluble vitamins. What are nutrients in the food? There are several nutrients that cannot be synthesized by the body and have to be taken externally through food. These are vital for the proper functioning of the body. Having a balanced diet is highly essential to keep the body healthy. But in the process of staying healthy and uh, uh, losing some pounds, many of us uh, commit the mistake of skipping the, some of the vital nutrients that are essential for the body. Also, the nutritional requirements vary between men and women. Essential macronutrients. Uh, first, carbohydrates. Many people make this mistake of skipping carbohydrates thinking that it leads um, one uh, to gain weight but this is totally wrong. An ideal amount of carbohydrate is actually required by the body to provide the needed energy. Women in the age group of 19 to 40 years need to consume at least 130 grams of total carbohydrate every day. Protein. It is required by the body for strengthening the muscles, the hormonal functioning and other vital organs. According to several research studies, it has been found that middle-aged men require at least about 56 grams of protein uh, intake per day and for women, the daily requirement of protein is 46 grams. Protein is uh, critical for good health. Uh, protein is essential in forming muscles to creating new enzymes and hormones. They are comprised of uh, small building blocks called amino acids. They are the building blocks for the cell which in turn over quicker and regenerate more slowly as a person ages ensuring this vital building blocks are there helps enhance optimal aging at the time of our life when it becomes more important to support our nutritional intake and make up for any deficiency. There are 20 amino acids in total but the 9 essential amino acids are uh, histidine, uh, isoleucine, leucine, then lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, then tyronine and also tryptophan and valine. Animal proteins provide all essential amino acids while plant proteins may be lacking several of these essential elements. To ensure and en getting all essential amino acids to include a variety of proteins in our diet by adding such as meat, eggs, dairy, then uh, nuts and beans. Let us see about fats. Uh, not all the fats are bad and having an adequate amount of good fat is actually helpful for the body. Omega-3 fats, saturated fats and monounsaturated fats are actually the good fats. For both men and women, uh, if their diet comprises of 2000 calories per day, then it is ideal to have fats ranging between 44 and 77 grams of total fat daily. Fish oil, soya beans, avocado, nuts and uh, fatty fish are sources of good fats. The omega-3 alpha linolenic acid and the omega-6 linolenic acid are essential fatty acids needed to synthesize some membrane phospholipid. Many people take supplements to ensure they are obtaining all the essential fatty acids they need. Sea bacton contains many of these fatty acids and is also high in vitamins. Sea bacton can be used to treat um, aching and promote weight loss and wound healing. Then it has been found that uh, omega-3 fatty acids optimize brain health and may aid heart function. Unlike other fatty acids, our body cannot create omega-3, so it's crucial to have sources of it in our diet. Salmon, mackerel and sardines contains active omega-3 fatty acids which don't require much energy for the body to use. Vegetables rich in iron, vitamins, fiber and all other major essential nutrients vegetables are uh, must have for both men and women. Vegetables help in keeping the bones healthy, better digestion and help to keep one overall healthy. For women 19 to 50 years about 2 and a half 
uh, cups of vegetables is an ideal amount of vegetables that they, they need to consume every day and for men in the same age group it is uh, three cups if uh, they are very active then they can increase into four cups of vegetables also then uh, fruits whenever the gender or the age fruits are uh, much have to everyone it is a um, uh, must requirement for everyone in addition to several nutrients uh, fruits also contain natural sugar that helps the body to maintain the blood sugar level in order to reap its uh, maximum benefits having fruits in the right quantity is important for both men and women having about two to two and a half cups of vegetables every day is essential similar to that the fruits is also uh, essential then let us see about the essential micronutrients while the animal body can synthesize many of the molecules required for the function uh, from the organic precursor um, there are some nutrients that need to be consumed from the food these nutrients are the essential micronutrients they must be eaten as the body cannot produce them vitamins are an organic compounds and an essential micronutrient that the body needs in small amounts the essential vitamins are vitamin a d e k and uh, b and c vitamins vitamins and minerals or substances found in the food we eat our body needs them to be able to work properly and for growth and development fat soluble vitamins are found primarily in foods that contain fat and oil such as animal fats vegetable oils dairy foods liver and fatty fish our body needs these vitamins every day to enable it to work properly however we do not need to eat foods containing these every day if our body does not need these vitamins immediately there will be stored in the liver and fat tissues for future use this means that uh, um, stores can build up if we have more than we need fat soluble vitamins can become harmful some fat soluble vitamins include vitamin a k d and e unlike the other fat soluble vitamins vitamin d is uh, difficult to obtain in adequate quantities in an, in a normal diet therefore supplementation may be necessary for taking this vitamin then water soluble vitamins are not stored in the body uh, therefore we need to have them more frequently if we have more than we need the body rids itself of the extra vitamins during urination because the body does not store these vitamins they are generally not harmful water soluble vitamins are found in food that include fruits vegetables and grains unlike fat soluble vitamins they can be destroyed by heat this means uh, sometimes these vitamins can often be lost during cooking some water soluble vitamins include vitamin b6 vitamin b12 vitamin c biotin folic acid niacin and riboflavin minerals are essential inorganic micronutrients fulfilling a different role and also be obtained from food several essential minerals they are um, some of the examples are sodium iron potassium calcium magnesium zinc phosphorus and also calcium is essential for bone health muscle and nerve function and circulation 99 percentage of the body's calcium is found in the bones and teeth calcium is found in dairy leafy greens and fish such as sardines and salmon sodium is another essential micronutrient that gained a bad reputation sodium helps nerves and muscles working correctly sodium should be consumed carefully uh, it is all about the moderation sodium can be found naturally in nuts vegetables meats and legumes among their many functions minerals help in cell structure and regulation they are also considered cofactors in addition to vitamins and minerals certain amino acids must also be uh, procured from food and cannot be synthesized by the body these amino acids are the essential amino acids the human body can synthesize only 11 of the out of 20 amino acids the rest may be obtained from the food only let us see something about nutritional needs with the different life stages to be fit and healthy it is important to take into account um, the extra demands placed on our body and to meet our body's the regular nutritional needs we should consume a variety of nutrients food 
what is on a daily basis enough kilojoules of energy with carbohydrates as a preferred source then essential fatty acids from uh, food such as oil fish nuts avocado then adequate protein for cell membrane and repair required fat soluble and water soluble vitamins also then essential minerals such as iron calcium and zinc then foods containing plant derived photochemicals which may protect against heart disease diabetes some cancers arthritis and osteoporosis a varied diet that concentrates on fruits vegetables whole grains legumes dairy foods and lean meats can meet these basic requirements let us see uh, babies uh, birth to 6 months of age babies usually double their length and triple their weight between birth and 1 year of age breast milk generally supplies a baby with the required amounts of nutrients fluids and energy up to about 6 months of age it is recommended that infants exclusively uh, breastfed up to around 6 months of age breast milk or correctly prepared infant formula provides a enough water for a healthy baby to replace any water losses however all babies need extra water once solid foods are introduced foods for babies are 6 to 12 months of age solid should be introduced around 6 months of age to meet the baby's increasing nutritional and developmental needs uh, foods can be introduced in any order uh, provided the texture is suitable for the baby stage of development uh, foods range from fruits and vegetables to uh, meat uh, then poultry fish and ho- whole eggs uh, do not add any uh, sugar salt or honey to the baby's food it is unnecessary avoid cow milk as a drink in the first 12 months small amounts can be used in cereals and custards all milk used should be pasteurized then food for young children once a child is eating solids offer a wide range of foods to ensure adequate nutrition young children are often picky but should be encouraged to eat a wide variety of foods uh, trying again with new foods may be needed for a child to accept that food if the child is gaining uh, in appropriate weight for growth limit energy dense nutrient poor snack foods Uh, tooth decay can be prevented with regular brushing and visits to the dentist avoid sugary foods and drinks especially if sticky or acidic uh, then ensure the child has enough fluids especially water fruit juices uh, should be limited and soft drinks avoided uh, then reduced fat milks are not recommended for children under the age of 2 uh, then due to increased energy requirements and high growth rate at this age be aware of the foods that may cause allergic reactions including peanuts shellfish and cow's milk be particularly careful if uh, there is a family history of the food allergy then food for children entering their teenage years the growth uh, spurt as the children move into adolescence uh, needs uh, plenty of kilojoules and nutrients for girls this generally occurs around 10 to 11 years of age for boys it occurs later at around 12 to 13 years the extra energy required for growth and physical activity needs to be obtained from foods that also provide the nutrients instead of just empty calories uh, take away and fast foods uh, need to be balanced with nutrient dense foods such as whole grain breads and cereals fruits legumes nuts vegetables fish and lean meats milk yogurt and cheese should be included to boost calcium intake This is especially important for growing bones. Cheese should preferably a lower salt variety. Adolescent girls should be particularly encouraged to consume milk and milk products. Older teenagers and young adults are moving away from home, starting work or study and changing lifestyle that accompanies the late teens and early 20s can cause dietary changes that are not always beneficial for good health. make a deliberate effort to keep physically active and also limit the alcohol intake then reduce the amount of fats and salt in the daily diet and also be careful to include foods rich in iron and calcium and also establish a healthy eating habits 
that will be carried on into a later life. Then let us see something about food for pregnant women. A pregnant woman uh, should concentrate on increasing her nutrient intake rather than her kilojoule intake, particularly in the first and second trimesters. Then nutrients for which uh, there are increased requirements during pregnancy include folate, iron, vitamin B12 and iodine. Iron is required for oxygen transport in the body. Iron supplements can be advised by, uh, by the doctor during the pregnancy but uh, do not take them unless the doctor recommends them. Increasing vitamin C intake can help uh, increase iron absorption from the food. Folate is important uh, for three months uh, before and in the first trimester of pregnancy to avoid neural tube in the baby. Then all women of uh, childbearing age should eat high folate foods. This can be obtained from the folate supplement and the diet high in folate rich foods. It is now uh, mandatory for all the, um, bread making a flour to be forfeited with uh, uh, folic acid. This will help women reach their recommended intake of folate. Iodine is an important for normal growth and development of the baby. Iodine supplements are often advised during pregnancy to meet the increased needs as the food sources are unlikely to provide enough iodine. Then uh, uh, the recommended uh, intake of calcium is also very important um, for the pregnant women to meet the calcium requirements during pregnancy. Let us see something about uh, food for breastfeeding mothers. Breastfeeding mothers need a significant amount of extra energy and to cope up with the uh, demands of breastfeeding. This extra energy should come in the form of nutrient dense foods to help meet uh, extra nutrient requirements that, uh, that will be occur during the breastfeeding. Uh, then they have to eat enough food and also the food which are uh, rich in nutrients especially those uh, foods are rich in folate, iodine, zinc and calcium. They have to eat and drink regularly and they must increase, um, they have to increase the intake of uh, water to prevent the constipation and also they have to take fluid rich food. Uh, something about the food for menopausal women, uh, thinning of the bones is common in post menopausal women because of hormonal changes and uh, they have to eat foods rich in calcium. Um, they have to take a, a large amount of uh, milk and also supplements uh, if they need. And also uh, they have to do weight bearing exercises such as walking can strengthen bones and they help to, they have to maintain the weight properly. Good uh, food sources include soya products, uh, then uh, chickpeas and uh, flax seeds, uh, then uh, lentils, uh, cracked wheat and barley. A variety of whole grain nutrient dense food, whole grains, legumes. Uh, soya uh, based foods, then fruits, vegetables and low fat dairy products they can add. Then foods for the older people, many people eat less as they get older. This can be uh, harder to make sure the diet has e enough uh, variety to include all the nutrients in need. Be as active uh, as possible to increase the appetite and maintain muscle mass. Remain healthy with a well balanced eating and regular doing a regular exercise. Um, eat a full that are rich in nutrients and especially they have to take eggs, lean meats, fish, liver, low fat dairy products and nuts, seeds, legumes, fruits and vegetables, whole grain, breads and cereals. If possible, old people need to spend some time outside each day to boost the vitamin D synthesis for healthy bones. Uh, limit foods that are um, rich in um, uh, nutrients such as uh, cakes or sweets, biscuits, soft drink they have to avoid and also they have to choose the foods that are naturally high in fiber to encourage bowel health and also they have to limit the use of uh, table salt especially during cooking. Uh, they have to choose uh, from a wide variety of foods and they have to uh, take uh, more water adequate liquid liquids and also they have to share meal times with the family and friends. Let us see something about the functions of nutrients. The most important functions of nutrients include they are the main source of energy for the body. They help in building and repairing body tissues. It increases the absorption of fat soluble vitamins and also it helps in the synthesis of collagen 
and also it provides a proper structure to the blood vessels bone and ligaments and also they help in maintaining homeostasis of the body uh, let us see something the significance of the nutrients the animal diet needs to be well balanced in order to ensure that all necessary nutrients and minerals are being obtained vitamins are most important for maintaining uh, body health uh, making bones strong and seeing in the dark water soluble vitamins are not stored by the body and need to be consumed more regularly than for soluble vitamins which build up within body tissue essential fatty acids need to be uh, consumed through the diet and also uh, they are the building blocks of the cell membrane 9 of the 20 amino acids cannot be synthesized by the body and need to be uh, taken from the diet to conclude nutrition is a process of taking in food and converting it into energy and other vital nutrients required for life nutrients are the compounds in food that provide us the energy that facilitates repair and growth and helps to carry out different life processes this uh, um, encompasses of micronutrients and macronutrients including fatty acids and amino acids it provide nourishment essential for growth and the maintenance of normal life thank you